Our next guest has been impressing judges at science fairs internationally since her elementary school days at Power Glen in St. Catharines. Deeksha Jayashankar is at it again. She'll be one of eight students representing Canada at the virtual 2021 Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair, May 16th, 21st. Deeksha, as a fellow Power Glen grad, I have to say how excited I am about your accomplishments. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell us about the project that earned you this participation in this really prestigious event. Antibiotic resistance is a big problem in our world today. You might have heard of MRSA, methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. And that's a very powerful bacteria and it kills many people per year. But however, there's only one viable antibiotic. And even some strains of MRSA are showing resistance to that antibiotic. So I was looking to this plant called Soursop and I discovered a compound that actually has antibiotic properties towards antibiotic resistant bacteria, including MRSA and C. difficile. This, is, this comes a long way from what we think of as science fair projects, the volcano yeah. made with baking soda and vinegar. Science is part of your family. Your father works at the Vineland Research Center. Is that true? Yeah. Tell me about other science fair projects that you've put together, because to me, it's, it's fascinating that you've been entering these science fairs with these highly advanced projects for years. Last year, or around grade 10, I started tinkering around with solar cells, actually. I didn't get to bring this anywhere because of the COVID and other projects I was working on, but I was looking at using the pigment from rotten fresh blueberries to actually enhance solar cells. And I developed a method to make solar cells with those blueberries that are actually more effective than the standard silicon solar cells that you see on like roofs today. And then previously before in 2019, in 2018, I was experimenting with nanoparticles and antioxidants and creating a plant growth enhancer using those two different materials. You have won some awards as well. You're the first Canadian to receive the Angela Award from the National yeah. Science Teachers Association. Never happened before. And this is something that was given to you at 15 years old? Yep, actually on my 15th birthday. That, that is incredible. Also your grade nine or grade six, I should say, science project published by the Journal of Emerging Educators. These are, again, huge accomplishments. I'm just flabbergasted. At school at Sir Winston Churchill, how do they nurture your love of science? The science department and the science fair program is really great, I, I feel. They allow us to experiment what we enjoy and, and go into streams that we love while giving us mentorship and guidance along the way. So they really, they really love to foster our interests which is, I feel is really beneficial to me and other students. Are you a little disappointed that this year's Regeneron Fair is being held virtually? That This would have been a great trip for you, depending on where oh, it could yeah. have been held, right? Yeah, I am. And I got, to, I got to participate at the International Science Fair in 2019. That was when there was no COVID. So I got to go to Phoenix for that. And one of the main things about science that makes it so much fun is getting to connect with and network with a bunch of your kids your age or even with professionals and industry pro professionals from around the world. So with COVID, you don't really get to do that, but I mean, I'm so happy that I get to participate in this competition again. Is that the science fair that you placed fourth out of 1,800 plus entries? Yep, I got fourth in the plant science category. <laughs> Uh, I, I just, I, I'm, I'm in so much awe of, of all of your accomplishments. What do you hope to do in the future? I understand at one point you had the goal of going to Harvard. Is that still your goal? Uh, that's kind of changed a bit. I'm now leading towards Stanford actually, and I'm thinking of going somewhere in the bio, biomechanical engineering field. 